Hi, I'm Petty Officer Cody Boyd, signing on for my last newscast in Djibouti. And I'm Staff Sergeant Jonathan Young, and you're watching Spotlight East Africa. According to the Department of Defense, an estimated 26,000 cases of unwanted sexual contact took place in the active force in fiscal year 2012, up 35 percent from 2010. To address the issue, service members from Camp Lemonnier and Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa participated in a DOD-wide sexual assault prevention and response stand-down at Camp Lemonnier, Djibouti. During the stand-down, Service members participated in interactive small group discussion and activities and heard key leader messages about the problem of sexual assault. Overall, the session raised attention to how sexual assault undermines the teamwork and threatens unit readiness. At the U.S. Military Academy commencement ceremony, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel recently addressed the issue. Sexual harassment and sexual assault in the military are a profound betrayal of sacred oaths and sacred trusts, he said. This scourge must be stamped out. We are all accountable and responsible for ensuring that this happens. Residents of an African village threatened by disease are learning new ways to stay healthy. Tech Sergeant John Ledoux takes us to Uganda, where U.S. service members are making a difference. When it comes to sickness and disease, the people of Luwero, Uganda can write the book. Home to cases of malaria, anthrax, smallpox, HIV and AIDS, and most recently, an outbreak of the deadly Ebola virus. The residents are looking for answers. That's where a collaborative effort between the Ugandan and U.S. governments come into play in the form of a One Health initiative. African countries are really poor in terms of epidemic preparedness. That's why I'm more than happy because the community now has got people who are technically aware, who know the diseases and how to prevent them. Army healthcare providers and veterinarians from Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa work alongside their counterparts from the Uganda People's Defense Force who often treat local civilians in the Ugandan communities. You rather prevent the disease rather than waiting for it to debilitate your people and then you come in. So it is better to prevent. The U.S. soldiers facilitated a medical civil action program, doing a health survey in the village, compiling the results, and working with local health care teams to present the findings in ways that even the children could understand. This mission has a personal meaning from um, the point of being with people who really have great needs for uh, improvements in their health care and improvements of their understanding of where disease comes from. One Health is funded by the U.S. Agency for International Development. Reporting from Luwero District, Uganda, I'm Tech Sergeant John Ledoux. That story wraps up our four-part series out of Uganda. For more on One Health and other great stories, visit us at facebook.com slash CJTF Horn of Africa. Up next, I will highlight some of the great work being done by military working dogs on Camp Lemonnier in this week's Photos from the Horn. Dog handlers with the Military Working Dog Program at Camp Lemonnier recently demonstrated some capabilities with their canines. The dog and handler teams are responsible for camp security, including IED detection, as well as searching cargo at the port and providing security for distinguished visitors. And to celebrate Independence Day, we leave you with 4th of July shoutouts to family and friends back home. Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class Wyatt. I'm currently stationed at the U.S. Embassy in Djibouti, Africa. I'd like to send a hello to all of my loved ones in the States, especially my daughter Kelsey and my son Nicholas. I love you very much and I miss you. I hope everyone has a wonderful 4th of July. Greetings from Djibouti, Africa. This is Senior Airman Navarro and I want to wish my wife Jessica and son Noah a great 4th of July. Hi, I'm Petty Officer Seals and I'm stationed here in Djibouti, Africa. I am from Los Angeles, California and I would like to say happy 4th of July to all my friends and family and especially my lovely husband. I miss you baby. Bye. Just want to wish my family and friends in Albuquerque, New Mexico, happy 4th of July and family in San Marcos, California thinking of you on this Independence Day. Hi, I'm LS2 Muse from Commander Fleet Air Forward at Tsugi, Japan, stationed here currently in Djibouti, Africa. I just want to wish my family a happy 4th of July and see you soon. Greetings, my name is Petty Officer Cruz. I want to wish my family from New Jersey happy 4th of July.
I'm Senior Chief Dyke here at Camp Lemonnier in Djibouti, Africa. I want to say happy 4th of July, happy birthday USA to everybody. Uh, look forward to seeing my wife Missy and my five daughters, Kendall, Kaylee, Abby, Jennifer, and Jaina. Happy 4th of July to everybody back home in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I look forward to being there. Hi everyone, I just uh, like to say hi in this uh, 4th of July, and uh, hope everything's well, and uh, I'll see you soon. It's been a privilege to report on so many great stories over the last several months. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Petty Officer Cody Boyd. And I'm Staff Sergeant Jonathan Young, and thank you for watching Spotlight East Africa, and we'll see you next time.